Have you heard the tale of the People's Coast? The tale of Oregon's public shore? It's one of open beach access, abundant state parks, coastal adventures, and more. This is the tale of the People's Coast. Oregon's coast is a public coast, a coastline for the people. In 1967, a piece of landmark legislation known as the Beach Bill established public rights to Oregon's beaches and all wet sand up to 16 vertical feet above the low tide line. The law declared people had access to all of Oregon's 363 miles of coastline, providing recreational access for both Oregonians and visitors to enjoy. The Beach Bill set Oregon apart as one of the few coastlines in the nation given to the people. The people's coast isn't just public, it's dramatic, rugged, and beautiful too. It's a landscape made of mountains and forests, capes and coves, beaches and bays, the perfect backdrop for coastal adventures. To help safeguard Oregon's public coastal access, a network of state parks was created. These parks unlock access to some of Oregon's most scenic and rugged coastal stretches. 75 state park sites are spread along nearly 400 miles of coast. Each offers its own unique perspective and access to Oregon's beloved beaches. Take Cape Lookout State Park with its oceanside camping, sheer basalt cliffs, and miles of trails traversing the Cape out to the sea. Or Hasita Head Lighthouse with its postcard-like setting, red-roofed beacon, and intricate tide pools teeming with life. Then there's Oswald West State Park with its Sitka Spruce Old Growth, scenic sheltered cove, and breaking green waves beckoning surfers to come play. The spirit of the People's Coast is best experienced through both the land and sea-inspired adventures awaiting you here. Take surfing, for instance, where just getting out to the waves can be an adventure in its own right. You're likely to find yourself hiking through old-growth forests to access the surf, or warming your bones next to a fire afterward. It's all part of the People's Coast experience. Whether you're a seasoned surfer, or just getting your wave-riding skills underway, Water is a perfect place to take in the surroundings. Local surf shops and outfitters, like you'll find at Oregon Surf Adventures at a seaside, offer lessons and equipment to help you get you on your feet and wave sliding in no time. Adventures on the People's Coast reach beyond the beaches, moving in like tides to Oregon's estuaries and bays. It's here that you'll find another type of adventure, one that requires some effort but yields a tasty reward, crabbing. People's Coast favorite can be enjoyed by just about anyone willing to throw in a crab pot. All you need is some basic gear, a bit of instruction, and a shellfish license to get underway. State parks provide both dock crabbing and boat access. Or consider learning from the pros like you'll find at Kelly's Brighton Marina on the Halem Bay. What tale will you tell of your time on the People's Coast? What unfettered adventures did you access today? Did you ride the waves at mid-tide and bring home a fresh catch? Or simply enjoy the view as the sun drifted away? <laughs>